you ever face the frustration of trying to edit a PDF only to find yourself in a web of limitations? Maybe it's difficult to manage all of your documents across all the different devices we have. Or perhaps you're tired of paying so much money for just even the most basic of industry standard PDF viewers. Today, I'm gonna to be breaking down everything there is to know about UPDF, my new preferred alternative PDF viewer. Now cutting right through all the fat here, we're gonna jump right into how accessible and intuitive this thing is. It is a desktop application, so unlike other SaaS applications that I reviewed, which are entirely web-based, this is something that would be an alternative to maybe Adobe Acrobat or any other PDF viewers that you have. It has tons of tools built right into it. It has tons of accessible plugins that also make things easier, such as OCR viewing and translating it to over 38 different languages, which is really helpful. The nice thing about it too is that it's not only fast, but it's actually faster, I found in some cases, than regular industry standard PDF viewers. Not to mention the fact that many of the alternative PDF viewer problems that you might expect to encounter just aren't here. With a lot of other alternative PDF viewers, you are only limited to one device. Whereas here, with a single subscription of UPDF, you automatically get access to four devices across four different platforms. Android, iOS, Windows, and Mac OS. So you can have your UPDF set up on all your devices. In an age where software subscriptions are already crazy expensive as is, UPDF's cost-effective pricing has made it so that, yeah, I'm not having to pay a ton of money for an Adobe subscription just to get access to Acrobat. And right off the bat, it's as simple as you could get with a traditional PDF viewer. It's got everything you need to view, edit, and make changes. As you can see, I can just scroll through here. I've got you know all my abilities that I would have in a traditional PDF viewer at a fraction of the cost. I can scroll through sections and it's got all the details that we need. Looking over the left-hand side of the screen here in the menu, we can see that there's many different tools that are available to us, much as we would see on a traditional PDF viewer. Starting out here, we can see we've got the comment tab, which has things like highlighting, strike throughs, pretty much everything you would expect to see in a traditional PDF viewer, but at a fraction of the cost. Um, so let's say Mern Roadmap. I, I really like this paragraph here. If I go to the highlight tab, I can just straight up highlight this whole section and say, yes, this. This is my favorite part. Pretty much you have the ability to go in and make changes and draw on it as you would on a traditional piece of paper, but straight within your PDF. With UPDF, I have the ability to actually highlight entire sections and just simply by clicking on it, I can either copy the text or just straight up remove my highlight. But if I re-highlight it again here by simply selecting all of the text, we can see that I have the ability to say strike through and make those edits, you know, change the color. In my case here, if I highlighted that again, simply did a note. I can actually go and add a note for myself here, you know, giving it a different color and sticky notes so that I can actually store those notes for myself later. Under the edit PDF tool on the left hand side, we can actually see if I click it, I can just simply go through and select pieces of text and adjust their size, you know, make them a different font if I wanted to, make it bold italicized, or I can even change the color. From the edit tab, we can either select text, image, or link and make that as it should be. If I wanted to resize this image, for example, all I would have to do is go up to the top and select the image tab and simply click on this and I can either rotate it, rotate it right in the PDF. Uh, obviously, I'm not gonna keep it like that, but I also have the option to extract the image, which allows me to save it directly to my desktop, crop the image so that I could say, yeah, I really, really just only care about this one section right here. And we can say actually replace image. I could replace this image with something entirely different. Or if I wanted to, I could actually insert an image directly into the PDF just by selecting this image tab up here and hovering over any place that doesn't currently have an image. But you can already start to see how cost effective and useful this tool is for the features that would be required for somebody who needs to have a PDF viewer. And it's consumer friendly pricing makes a little bit more of a viable option for people looking for an alternative to traditional, really, really, really expensive PDF viewers that require monthly subscriptions of exorbitant amounts. What if I didn't want this page to look like this? Well, what if I wanted it to be upside down? I could rotate clockwise, I could rotate clockwise again, now it's upside down. Um, I could actually insert a blank page, just putting that right in here. I could insert a page from file and actually inserting multiple pages from a file. I could replace certain pages, extract those pages. So for example, say you get a 100 page PDF and really there's only one piece of information that you really need. Well, you can extract that page right out of the PDF without having to resave the whole thing or screenshot it or really just making all these workarounds that really aren't that intuitive when I can just right click on it and say, yep, this is the information I need. This upside down title page, extract and boom, I've got it downloaded. Or if I really wanted to, I could just straight up delete it. In this case, I'm just gonna select my two here and just say delete, gone, simple as that. Something that can also be found as well when you're commenting is the ability to add stickers and mark up the page. It's not just drawing that makes it interesting. I could go up to the top here and say, yeah, let's make a sticker. And what are the stickers available to us? We'll do this little party face here and we'll say, yep, we're gonna put it right there. Boom, Mern Roadmap and we'll put that big party face. That's very nice. Uh, let's see, I can also attach files to it. I can put some stamps on it if I wanted to. So let's add a stamp. 
and I just put a stamp on here that says revised by Josh at this time, which is when I'm filming this video. Now, if I wanna put my signature on the page, I can just simply select the signature and say create, and you know, I'll just do like a crude version of a signature and we'll say create and we'll say, yep, that's gonna go right there. Alrighty, have, you know, certified. I have seen this, I have read this, that is a terrible looking signature, but you can really see how simple it is to create signatures, which is a feature that some PDF viewers really lock behind a paywall after you've already got the basic version. We can also add text boxes. A nice thing about UPDF is that you don't have to go searching for the features that you want. If you need to make annotations to your PDF or you need to make adjustments to your text, increasing the size, fonts, inserting images, whatever, you have the ability to do so without having to go and find a manual online telling you where and how to do it. It's very simple. It's just on the left-hand side. You've got your comment, edit PDF, prepare form, redact, organize pages, crop pages, and page tools. So if you wanted to organize your pages straight from this view, you could just do that too. And just say, yep, moving these around. I didn't like the order, but now I like the order like this. And I can just say insert, replace, extract, split. This is much easier if you don't wanna be dragging through individually or you're getting frustrated with that because it allows you different ways to perform the same actions, whatever works to your personal preference. And I especially think that's how a PDF viewer should be because it's clear here from the features that were put in that this was made by people who were getting tired and frustrated with the PDF viewers that we currently have that weren't as intuitive as they could possibly be. And as you would expect, you have the ability to convert your PDF to a multitude of different document types, such as Word, PowerPoint, Excel, CSV, rich text format, text, image, XML, and HTML. It really is up to you what you want to do with it and that's built right in. Now with UPDF's OCR, which stands for Optical Character Recognition, you can turn any PDF into an editable one. Now, simply all I have to do is go here to the right-hand side of the menu, and as we can see, I can export, we can protect using password. Protect using password, we'll get to that in one second. But if I go up to the top here, recognize text using OCR. Now, if I hit the save button here, I can simply start to convert this entire PDF into something that is editable. All the text and images on this page are gonna be fully customizable as a PDF. I'm not gonna to have to go through and save it as its own file and Word document and then you know select what sections of text I've, none of that stuff needs to be done at all because this being innately built into UPDF is meant to make it so that you could turn any PDF into something that is editable and clear. Now, you've got a file that you really don't want anybody else seeing and you wanna protect it. Well, how can you do so? Well, if it isn't obvious, we can protect it using a passcode. If I click on this here, we can see encrypt the passcode and the documents open, require passcode, restrict editing and require a passcode to actually make those edits, remove security, there's no security right now, and we can see the security properties. So in my case, this is an extremely sensitive piece of information about learning the basics of the MERN stack. This is my document open password and I'll say, yep, confirm my document open password. And we can see the permissions that need to be set, you know, what the permissions are. We can see the permissions password here as well. In this case, I won't set one. And yeah, we're good to go. For more options, we can see what encryption level we actually want to encrypt it at. And that's if you actually know what the encryption levels are. But then we would hit apply. And before anybody would be able to view anything in the document, they would have to pass through that passcode. And if they couldn't, well, sorry, you don't get access to that PDF file. So make sure if you do create a passcode for your PDFs, write it down somewhere. But all this stuff doesn't just work for one singular PDF. You can batch convert all of your PDFs and combine them and insert them and encrypt them and even add Bates numbering to your PDFs as well. But now getting onto the most exciting feature of UPDF, the AI aspect of it. And yes, of course, if I'm gonna be making a video about a PDF viewer, it's not just gonna be a regular PDF viewer that you can do a lot of cool things with. I mean, this one has a lot of cool things you could do, but the most exciting feature of all is AI built right into your PDF viewer. And all we need to do to access that is simply go to the bottom right-hand corner of the screen and say UPDF AI, click on that, and immediately we have two options available to us. Now, typically with a lot of the PDF viewers, they have some sort of chat GPT thing that you could immediately chat with to get some information. In our case, the UPDF AI has the ability to actually take the text that we've got in our PDF and chat with it. But not only does it have the ability to just simply chat about what the text is in your document, but it actually has the ability to extract data out of it directly. If we go to the Ask PDF up here, we can see a thing that says, Hi, I am UPDF AI. Upload this PDF to UPDF Cloud and start conversations with your AI assistant. So we'll say, yep, we're going to start that with this and simply hit Get Started. It'll upload that PDF to the cloud. And now we have the ability to chat with the AI about everything that's contained in our document. With Ask PDF, you're giving your AI the ability to check all the information that can be found within your PDF, whether you wanna translate the information, understand the information better, or in my case, a summary. We can see that it's already got a summary ready for us, which is everything the MERN stack guide provides, and we can see that it's breaking it down each by topic and section. This is especially helpful if we have tons of information that we really don't need all at once, and there's really just a few pieces of information that we need. Instead of having to scan through the PDF and try and find that ourselves, we simply upload it to Ask PDF and have it sort and find for us. 
on the side here, I'm showing you just a little snippet of the iOS version of this, because again, you can have this on four different platforms and with one license on four different devices. In this case, this is simply just the iOS version and everything that you can do with your desktop or Mac OS versions, you can do as well with your iOS versions or Android versions, depending on what you're using. All the features that we went over here, you can do that on there. And it's really cross-platform and really accessible, which makes it nice when I'm trying to transfer or make changes on the fly. And that's it, an alternative PDF viewer that's sure to not break the bank and make sure to have all the features needed, making it super accessible for people who are looking for a little bit of a cheaper option without sacrificing the quality of the features found in traditional standard industry grade PDF viewers. Thank you to UPDF for sponsoring this video. In the description below, there's gonna be a link that you can actually go down and try UPDF for yourself. See if it is worth the cost savings that has all the same features that you're gonna need. Maybe it is your new PDF viewer because at an alternative PDF viewer price with all the features that are currently found in the main PDF viewers, it's really something that's a no brainer, at least for me anyway. Thank you for watching. My name is Josh Mountain and I'll see you in the next one.